scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The joy of the Lord bringing strength and vitality. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to come out of this situation, but I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. The Bible speaks about scripture and says all things that are written aforetime. Please look at me. It said that they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope. The meaning of that is that there are times in your life where you do not know and you are not sure whether or not God can show up over that issue. The Bible tells you to make reference to scripture and check has God showed up for someone like that? If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then, same God right now. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then, same God right now. In the Bible, God lifted men. In the Bible, God delivered men. In the Bible, people slept as prisoners and woke up as prime ministers. In the Bible, women who were village girls within months became the wives of kings. In the Bible, farmers became prophets. In the Bible, prostitutes join the lineage of Jesus the Bible says that these are archives to encourage you to sponsor joy so that if and when I do not know how my life is going and I cannot explain what is happening I can check through scripture and say I know God is faithful Jehoshua the God of my salvation he will show up for me and as bold as this challenge looks I know that if I join to cry listen the moment there is weeping god's power cannot come it takes joy joy is a magnet listen to me i know that it is human to cry it is human to grieve but it's a spirit that continues to drive breakthrough away from you you must sustain an impartation that grants you the grace to smile through storms you don't smile because things have changed you smile and rejoice to change them if you wait for things to change for you to have joy then they will never change that's why it's called joy in the holy ghost it is it, it is a possibility that comes from a dimension that is not normal for men to have please listen to what i tell you i have seen this in my life and i've seen this even while i minister that people who are sad and angry and frustrated and gloomy almost never receive god has to find a way to prime their joy and if it does not work the anointing comes directly on them to laugh 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 away space for god to come and bless them because it, it seems as though their, their hearts are close towards the things of God. Joy is powerful. 
Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The first thing joy does is to produce health and vitality. It is true that when joy dries up, you will be like the tree that has been cursed. Number two. Psalms 67. Joy is responsible for extraordinary fruitfulness. You want your life to be fruitful beyond measure. Joy is a requirement. Psalm 67. We'll start from verse 1. Please give it to us quickly. God is changing someone's life this morning. It says, Be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Verse 2. That thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving health among the nations. Verse 3 now. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 4. O let the nations be what? Glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Verse 5. It says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6. Then, not before, then shall the earth. That means while you are mourning, the earth still has the potential to bless you. But your lack of joy will not allow the power of God move upon the earth to bless you. I hope you know that this earth is talking about is not just the ground. Your helper is also made of earth. And there is increase within him. Your destiny helper is a piece of earth that can be used to yield his increase. And the earth, whether as your boss, and the earth, whether as your landlord, and the earth as any one of your destiny helpers can yield their increase and then he says and god even our own god shall bless us show me a man who understands the revelation of joy i show you a man who can turn anything around anything around it sounds very simple but I tell you, this is at the back of the continuation of the pain and the tragedy of so many people. In ministry, in business, we come back gloomy, we come back angry, and we are frustrated. And you know, you will always find a reason to be unhappy, especially in our side of the world today. You will always find a legitimate reason to be angry. Look at me. Let me tell you this. Did you know that the moment you are frustrated the natural effect is that you will want to see others frustrated as a way of healing you from that frustration if you are angry you will want others to be angry for you to be happy for some reason men are designed that way a happy man will want to produce happy people an angry person will want to transfer that anger to others the joy of the Lord is my strength and that when i rejoice the earth can bring its increase there are always legitimate reasons please hear me listen very carefully there are always legitimate reasons why we are angry while we are gloomy it looks like things are not working in around our lives but those who understand the joy of the lord are people who will continue to stand when you look at them you do not know when they are passing through storms and when they are having a very good time there is no difference because they are always happy how are you today bless the lord bless the name of the lord i just heard that your mother went to be with the lord last week yes it's true but i give god glory the lord giveth the lord taketh blessed be his name so how are you going to do about that rent now well i know that god will provide god is a mighty god he will supply be real be real use your common sense wisdom is profitable to direct i understand that's why the wisdom directed me to be joyful in the lord you see that show me a man listen i teach you what i live by you will never at any point find me sit down in regret trying to say lord you did not do this lord you have not yet done this lord when will you do this lord have you done this lord you did not finish doing this my life is ever joyful as a revelation it's a risk to lose joy it's a risk in this kingdom when you lose joy. 
I will sing and I will praise even in my darkest hour through the sorrow and the pain I will sing and I will praise I lift my hands to honor you hear it because your word is true I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I lift my hands to honor you because your word is true I will see God is not a man meaner he does not lie if he speaks even if it's a mistake it must look like his mistake he he cannot lie hallelujah I teach you how to cheat life I teach you how to play life like a chess you will always find a reason to not be happy listen to me things will always find a way of attempting to mock God in your life the greatest mistake you will make is to turn and start discussing your pain because everything you continue to meditate upon grows and so you find out that the mountain continues to grow turn your back from away from the mountain and focus on Jehoshua the God who is able to save I will rejoice in the God of my salvation he is able to save to the uttermost it was a principle in scripture that the nation of Israel were given as a secret that every time they went to battle and their enemies compassed them and it was clear that defeat was imminent every time they noticed that they were the enemies were greater than them God taught them to drop their swords notice the nation of Israel never fought if it was clear that the enemies were greater than them they used another strategy they would stop and say worshipers come to the front this battle now if we dare use knives they will kill us like chickens we need to engage another mystery you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah it was a chant it was a formula given to them that when all things fail invoke the mercy of god and his goodness and the battle will turn around completely God is speaking to someone this morning people have already prophesied your life and they are right except for this morning everything they said is supposed to happen without any effort you are already in all kinds of traps but watch the power of joy joy is a magnet it puts pressure on the power of God it puts pressure on the integrity of God son you have a reason to cry and yet you refuse to cry even if you cry you turn your cry into a song and you sing and dance and rejoice listen to me it was the dance of a small girl that removed the head of a prophet now that's very dangerous a prophet an army came to attack Elijah he called fire on them yet John the Baptist the greatest prophet when a lady rejoiced before a king his head went for it joy let me tell you how the Holy Spirit works it have you gone to pray sometimes over a situation you drag yourself to the place of prayer as if you are going for a funeral and you lock the door and you don't even know how to start do I say our father in heaven do I say God have mercy what 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 will be the the starter of my prayer and suddenly it looks like a joke while you are praying in tongues somewhere in your prayer it's like an impartation comes joy songs begin to come sometimes songs that are only for that secret place when you finish prayer you cannot remember the songs again and notice not every song will minister to you because at that point the songs are ladders you are climbing your way out without knowing you are not just singing I show you how it works God wants to come 
but your heart is closed in anger, in pain. There is no way you can reap because there is no joy. And then he finds a way by his spirit. He can use a song. He can use something that gives you gladness. And all of a sudden you will find out that a well of joy is in your heart. And usually when that well comes, you will find a song. Listen, one of you know that you are walking in joy when you don't lack songs. Lacking songs is proof that something is wrong with your joy life. It has nothing to do with a, being a musician. You receive these songs and you begin to sing them. Sometimes you cry while you are singing them. And Satan, the master of the flesh realm, is projecting the difficulties before you. Finish that prayer and, and address the issue of your child here. Your child is about to die. This is stage four cancer. It's about to kill him. And you forget about your child and begin to sing and begin to rejoice and sometimes you begin to dance like a fool and sometimes you begin to sweat singing and dancing for a long time you are allowing the mighty god the god of your salvation to show up i tell you he will turn things around when you allow him to many years ago we were going to have that would be our first crusade on our way going the program was going to start by five and at about two three we were still on our way going and the car spoiled there was nothing we didn't do to that car the car refused to start and it was not in a place where we would easily get a mechanic it was a very serious situation and then one of us just took the guitar and started to play out of frustration you know just felt what do i stand to lose and he started playing the guitar and then we started praying in tongues and then one person would join then one person would join then one person would join true story i tell you the truth and i lie not eventually we started blasting in tongues and praying such an impartation of joy came upon us did you know they kicked that car it was like a joke and it started like that and took us down to that crusade ground I have seen the power of joy i have seen people who they have finished employment and it was very clear that they would not get anything but they went back and said lord you forgot to add my name let me remind you i cannot remind the boss i don't have his number i cannot remind the hr department but i can remind you i know how to get to you you know how to get to them you are called the father of spirits so i will save myself the stress of looking for a manager and lobbying around and they lock their door and rejoice and dance like madmen and while they are doing that they are allowing the god of their salvation god will begin to move and say stand up and change this stand up people have gotten all kinds of victories because they understood joy. Kenneth Copeland asked Bishop Oyedeko one time and said, you claim we are the ones who mentored you in church growth and faith. How come you have all of this large crowd? And Bishop Oyedeko, according to him, he laughed and said, I danced every one of these people. I danced them one by one in the spirit. You can dance your prosperity you can dance your healing you can dance your child you can sing your victory you can sing the key that is missing to enter your hand back where is the key that opens this door is missing i tried to search and i did not find it i maintain my joy and with that joy there will always be restoration yet i will rejoice yet i got the report but yet i will rejoice There's somebody in this nation i will not mention the name the first time he produced his album it was as if he, he produced it just for his family members after the labor you can imagine how painful that kind of thing is when you invest time energy and all you know to do and he got in touch with me and said apostle i don't understand the meaning of this nonsense god called me i'm sure i'm called into the music ministry and i told him i said don't worry my friend rejoice sing the same songs sing them alone in your room if nobody is inviting you rejoice and while that guy began to rejoice god gave him one song that has opened him up now and opened the nations for him please do not underestimate the power of joy
there are things that have happened in my life on account of joy you can lock yourself in the room and open every other door while you are locked you are opening doors strange doors that people will say how are you doing it it is the power of joy the joy of the Lord being your strength there are people who die before they die there are people who fall before they fall they give up easily at life preachers packing up saying look I'm tired of this ministry business people going down all kinds of people going down but let me tell you this hear me the Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tent of the righteous it was that shout of joy that made them victorious in the first place so if they keep it and it becomes their habitation then there will be no reason again for mourning when i found this principle in my life i knew that i found my way out of trouble every time i am in the midst of anything that looks unpleasant whether for me whether for ministry whether for my family i don't have the time to sit down and discuss and say kai you see the way this life is nigeria Huh? this is November look at the way my life is you talk like that is exactly what you will see is God speaking to us apostle you don't know the situation I'm at now I'm not even sure if I'm still a student or not the last time I saw the carryovers I couldn't even see the end I just turned my face and left are we together Apostle, you don't know how many people I'm owing right now. I'm owing millions and billions. I cannot even sleep. It's a choice. Listen to me. Let me tell you this. If crying does not solve the problem, try joy. Because in any case, you are already in trouble. So don't be afraid to explore. You are already in trouble. There should not be fear when your fear has met you. You should have the courage to explore. The rent must be paid. It's 500,000. How much do you have now? 7,000, home and abroad. Have the freedom to explore because in any case you are in trouble. You have tried crying. You called your uncle. He said, you didn't call me last week. I'm so sorry. If you had only called me last week. But you can turn back and say, Lord, I don't know the name of the trouble I'm in, but I know the name of the Lord God that is a strong tower and I choose to rejoice. Makapo shala branda katea. And while you are saying that all kinds of calls that are threatening you are coming and you are rejoicing, somewhere along the line, Yehoshua, the God that saves, will show up. He will show up like a mighty man of war that he is and turn things around. I have seen this in ministry. I have seen this in life. I've shared my testimony when I, I, was, I was shown a vision of my mother's funeral. I was watching in a vision like I'm watching people. My mother's funeral, case closed. People were crying. Don't feel bad if you've lost your loved one. I saw everything go down and I was so touched. And when everything was done, I prayed after prophesying. I celebrated God and rejoiced. Let me tell you, my mother is healthier than many of you in this place. She's alive. It's true. Very healthy, very agile. It's possible she's even following this meeting now. Health and vitality. The mortality rate in Africa continues to drop because of this. Although we are the happiest people, they say, yet we are the ones that die more. That means we need to check what we're doing. Are we together now? Yes. Have you seen people drive themselves to death? alone on the road he's driving and he's calculating 75,000 plus 850 uh, roughly five, and then the next thing he's dead you see young people walk on the road as if they are mad they stand on the road and they are just calculating 900,000 ah, is he not supposed to be old? and you are saying what, what are you doing size no 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 the joy of the Lord is my strength. I refuse to act like one who does not have a Savior. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. 
you are mighty to say forever author of salvation heroes and conquered the grave jesus sing one time savior savior he can move the mountain my god is mighty to say you are mighty to save forever the author of salvation you rose and conquered the grave so when persecution comes count it all joy they meet you in the office and say do you know that they are discussing you right now we're about downsizing and i clearly heard them calling your name you say no problem god is faithful no. hey! so this is how this life will be no 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 somebody shout no way don't give the devil permission to destroy the word of god concerning your life insist maintain your space gather your strength and stand i will not bend satan you will not see my tears not for you i will cry before the lord and i will worship but not for you i know there are mountains all before me but i trust in the lord with all my heart and i lean not on my own understanding the bible says in all my ways i acknowledge him and he shall direct my path he says be not wise in your own understanding he says fear the lord and turn away from evil i know that my redeemer lives and i know that god will arise as a mighty man the psalmist said many are they that trouble me psalm 3 many are they that rise up against me but here is his testimony but thou O lord he says you are a shield for me that you are my glory here is a prophecy the lifter up of my head the lifter up of my head while you are discussing jesus that died he only died for three days he didn't die forever while you are discussing the jesus that died he's already a is a reason already the men in emmaus were talking about the jesus that died whereas he had risen rejoice not over me my enemies i may fall but even in the pit i rejoice listen to me joy is powerful he put a new song in my mouth the bible says the song of praise to our god it says many will see and fear and put their trust in him this is my life i truly live a very peaceful life and i truly live a very joyful life there's a joy that i have in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my heart only comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a peace in my heart in spite of all the troubles that surrounds me and this peace in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice his voice brings joy it lets me know that things will not always be like this it lets tomorrow is the gift god gave you to correct yesterday your yesterday may not be the best but he gives you the gift of tomorrow as proof that he loves you please listen to me mina you have to learn this that for the rest of your life you will vow that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Say it after me. 
that when you face a news that is unpleasant your testimony is that the joy of the lord i cannot lose strength i cannot lose strength it is too risky to lose strength it is a risk to lose joy i stand in joy because it is in joy that my harvest comes i know he will show up my joy knowing this count it all joy brethren when you face diverse temptations knowing this there is an information you know that god who is your deliverer is coming listen the love of god is very powerful he says i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness god is not ashamed to express how vulnerable he is towards you and he's saying i can chase you that far sometimes i demand that you call me but even if you don't call me my jealousy towards you will make me to hide my pride and come running after you the joy of the lord many of you right now seated here i know i'm going to pray for you shortly but many people are already discouraged november nothing to show forth in my life finances zero children zero lord you gave me a word this year that by now i will have a child and now i don't have the child lord you said you were going to correct my finances lord you said you will bless my family and november things are worse than they were january let me teach you what to do even if you cry cry in joy vow that you will never complain satan you will not hear me communicate sorrow you will only hear a song from my heart to the heavens because i know that my redeemer is true let the weak say he didn't say let the weak explain why they are weak let the weak say i am strong please understand what i'm telling you if everything leaves my life there are two things that will remain god and joy leave these two things in my life and everything will come back again i assure you yes sir joy 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 god wants you to have joy the joy of the holy spirit you are full of joy you are bubbling you get up in the morning and you are not afraid of waking up because you now be aware of all the problems in your life lord i thank you hallelujah it's a great day you find a song and you are singing and while you are singing your the devil is reminding you he's a master of the sense realm and so he continues to him to remind you you're a man of god you go to preach and at the end of your preaching it looks like you just went to deliver a lecture you make an altar call and people are going out instead of coming towards the altar and you are wondering what in the what in the world did i do is this a sermon is it, what what did i do and you go back depressed and the devil says i told you you are not in ministry humble yourself and go and reapply for a job or do something meaningful with your life and you raise a song find any kind of song if there's no song just whom anything find a way of expressing yourself because you leave jesus i leave I have no fear of what tomorrow brings because you leave Jesus I leave today I leave to praise your name I leave to praise your name I have no fear of what tomorrow brings God is speaking to someone this morning. I live to praise your name. And I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you live, Jesus, I live today. I live to praise your name. The God that I know quarter to shame here he comes your assignment is to keep rejoicing as proof of faith ha. you're not a man no 
You're not a man, oh. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you, say no one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. There are times you don't need to sing to God. You need to sing to the mountain. There are times you don't need to talk to God. The problem is not him. The problem is you and the mountain. He's coming to assist. Mountain, while I wait for God to come, let me prophesy to you like Goliath. This is how you will be moved out of my life. And I will dance before you because these Egyptians that I see today, I will see no more forever. Hallelujah. I have seen God show up for people by reason of ministry. I'm involved in the life of so many people. And I'm telling you sometimes, even as men of faith, when you see the reality of people's challenges, your heart drops. You almost want, you are, you are careful to pray because you suspect it won't work. Son of man, can these bones live? Elijah, uh, Ezekiel said, don't, don't, don't drag me into this issue. You are the only one who knows this kind of situation i'm a prophet but god don't disgrace me i don't even know where the bones are where are they you are saying can these bones live the bones are under the earth if they were gathered in one place i may believe and he said let me show you how powerful i am she sang it well you are the mighty god Hey, Latobi Jew, you are the glorious God. I like my right. you are the mighty God. When Jesus was born, the angels came to sing and rejoice. They announced glad tidings upon the earth. Joy was very important to sustain Jesus. Very important. Believers, hear me. The spirit of depression is moving like a cloud across Africa and across Nigeria. Even strong men are falling because there is no joy. The devil continues to emphasize what you are seeing because he knows that we, the realm of the senses is where Satan defeats many. He will show you things and give you reasons why you should not rejoice. And the truth is that the challenges that stand before you, they are real. So they will bring you to a point of silence where you will count God unfaithful. You may not say it, but you have said it. So before he puts words in your mouth, put a song in your own mouth. Are we together now? I vowed a vow in my life that I will never open my mouth and say God is unfaithful. His song and his praise will remain in my mouth. Let me teach you what to do, my brothers and my sisters. Please hear me. I show you a mystery that is more... Some of you is after one, two, three years, you will look for this message and listen again and say, here was my deliverance. Let me teach you this. Go and write a list of everything. We'll do some prayers now. Write a list of everything that ails you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Go and shut the door. If you cannot sing, find... Some of you need to find this Igbo high praise. You know this kind of praise that the woman prophesies before she starts singing. And lock yourself and dance around like a madman 
while you dance on that request and watch the God of wonder. All our walk, 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 is turning things around. Yeah. All our walk, 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 walk. Prophesy. All our walk, 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 walk. For my good. All things, all things. I am the believer. One more time. All our walk, 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 walk. Turning things around, yeah. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.